ever been flying on a commercial airline before? Yes. If you just so happen to answer yes and following to the preceding question, then you can really relate to me when I say that airport security, the worst experience known to man. And let me just show you what I mean. Like, it's, say you're flying around Thanksgiving time, right? Don't even think about bringing a container of cherry pie filling. No, because that is dangerous. But if you happen to have a crust with you, a pie crust, just dump it in the crust, sprinkle some graham crackers on top, and ladies and gentlemen, we are safe. Because that cherry pie filling has been contained, and now we're safe. <laughs> but just to help you better understand what I mean when I say airport security is awful, I'm going to tell you a bit about my last experience when I went flying. So I'm all happy, it's Saturday, I'm going to Florida, super happy, I get my ticket, I walk in line, and my heart just stops. Because the second you get in that line, you are smushed against the other person. This close to a person you don't even know. Let's just say you make some uh, brand new unwanted friends that day. So you're stepping on their bag, they're stepping on your bag, you're all smushed together like sardines in a vacuum sealed can. It's a fun day for everybody that day. <laughs> so, once you finally get through that line though, and you get up to the conveyor belt, and you're like, yes, I just made it through that line. Now here's another one. So I get up there, and then the people behind me are shoving me forward, like, come on, Sydney, get through the line. And I'm ripping my, sh my sweatshirt off as fast as I can, and throwing up all my necklaces, and putting them into that little plastic tub they give you, you know? And then, I'm all set, I got all of it off, and I'm about to walk through the scanner, when a TSA agent stops me dead in my tracks. And he says, Kid, how old are you? And I say, well, I'm 13. And he says, sorry kid, everybody over the age of 12 has to take off their shoes. What? Because apparently, to the TSA, every kid over the age of 12 is a terrorist until proven innocent. <laughs> like, when did that start? <laughs> exactly, right? So I sigh and I trudge back to the line where I look at the people behind me who just glare at me like I just killed their cat. So I'm going back there and I look down. And I pick today to wear the day to wear my high top Converse tennis shoes tied so tight that they do not come off. Ladies and gentlemen, those shoes do not come off without a five minute time intermission. <laughs> So I'm sitting there, I'm ripping off my shoes, but they are locked on my feet as, state, as tight as steel. My family is long gone past the gate. So I'm sitting there, I'm going as fast as I can, and I finally do get them. I throw them in the bin, and I walk through the scanner, and everything's fine. And I look for my bag, and it's not there. So the TSA agent, he holds up a bag, a bright neon green bag, and says, now whose bag would this be? <laughs> that would be mine. And then he reaches into the bag and pulls out a giant water bottle. Now would this water bottle also be yours? That's kind of why it was in my bag, sir. <laughs> it is mine. And he says, you know I'm gonna have to take that, right? And I say, just take the bag. I don't care anymore. Just take all my stuff. I'm just done. So ladies and gentlemen, next time you go to an airport, don't work Converse. And don't take a giant water bottle to the airport because nobody likes an airport menace. No. <laughs> no. Not even one person. No.